Okay, so what's your goal? The goal, one, is to reduce inflammation and stress. Because remember, st when you have stress, chronic stress, everyday stress, it increases your cortisol release, which what makes cortisol is progesterone. So now you're decrease, you have a pro, uh, progesterone deficiency, which in turn, which will make the, remember, it's the ratio. You go from a 25 to one progesterone over estrogen to maybe like a 10 to one, which causes estrogen dominant. You want to support your adrenals. The adrenal glands, I always say that's a backup battery for your ovaries. So when you're going through menopause or perimenopause, all the functions of your ovaries with, the, with estrogen is gonna be transferred to the adrenal glands. And this is why a lot of times perimenopause is so difficult because you're talking about the adrenal glands that are already burnt out because why it makes cortisol and progesterone now you're dumping more functions on something that's already burned that's already dysregulated so i'm always saying you want to take care of your adrenal glands now do your own research on how you could do that as well so you want healthy adrenals because cortisol and progesterone are made in the adrenals and cortisol takes priority over all the other hormones in the body because think about it, if you're inflamed, if you're stressed out, everything else shuts down and your body becomes centralized. You want to, the HPA axis, hypothalamic, hypothalamus, pituitary, adrenal axis, that is the cycle that regulates how your body adapts to stress. So the HPA axis regulates cortisol and the sex hormones. So when you have prolonged stress, the HPA axis becomes dysregulated and from the sympathetic nervous system, that's a sympathetic, that's your, that's your fight or flight, that's your go, go, go. The parasympathetic is rest, digest, and repair. So the sympathetic nervous system is activated constantly. So your adrenals burn through magnesium, B vitamins, other vitamins, other minerals. This is why, the main reason why I say the dosage depends on you. Do your research on the dosage. The dosage on the bottle is just, is just recommendations. If you're very, very stressed out, you're burning through magnesium, you're burning through B vitamins, you're burning through zinc, you're burning through all these other nutrients. So this is why the dose is dose dependent on you. Now you wanna fix your gut. Everything starts here. A healthy gut, healthy brain. You wanna fix your brain, fix your gut. Because this is where all the nutrition, all the food is absorbed. So if you have a bad gut, now do your research on how to fix your gut. The nutrients are absorbed efficiently, properly. So you want to fix the pH of your stomach, the acid. The pH should be between 1 and 3. You want to reduce your sugar and grains because sugar and grains just causes inflammation. You want to get rid of the bad fats, the omega-6s. This is your ho-hos and ding-dongs and hot dogs and all that stuff. I know people eat hot dogs, I don't, because I saw the movie of how they're made. You wanna add more good fats, add more fish, add more um, avocados. Avocados are phenomenal for the adrenal system because avocados are loaded in the healthy fats which fuels the cholesterol which will help stabilize the adrenal glands. Lean meats, eat lean meats, possibly organic, leafy greens, Leafy greens, leafy greens, leafy greens are loaded with minerals. They're loaded with magnesium. They're loaded with calcium. They're loaded with iron. They're loaded with a lot of things that will help stabilize. Okay, so here's another question. Dr. Juwad, cut through the chase. Just tell me what supplements to take. Okay, here's your list. Now remember, the supplements, you want to stabilize the adrenal glands and you want to stabilize the estrogen dominance and bring up the progesterone. Now this is just my recommendation. You can do your own research. Magnesium glycinate. There's 10 different types of magnesium. Do your research. Magnesium glycinate, 400 milligrams. You can either take it at once or you can take it throughout the day. Magnesium glycinate, I always recommend it at nighttime so you can get a night's sleep. 400 milligrams, if it doesn't do the job, increase it to five, increase it to six, because the uterus is a muscle, and magnesium is a smooth muscle relaxer. Relax the muscle so it also decreases inflammation. Calcium. Calcium, a thousand milligrams of, of calcium, and don't, I don't recommend taking the CalMag, because the CalMag doesn't have magnesium glycinate in it. So I would recommend taking magnesium on its own, especially if you have cramps, those cramps. A thousand milligrams, Calcium is great. If it doesn't help the cramps, up the dosage. 
How about in B6? Remember, the adrenal glands thrive on B6. So the more stressed out you are, the more B6 you need. Now, B6, I always recommend 100 milligrams twice a day or 200 milligrams before bedtime. It will relax your system. Zinc and copper together, because if, too much, if you have too much zinc, it depletes copper. So this zinc and copper, good balance, 50 milligrams of zinc, two milligrams of copper. There is a supplement that has that. Vitamin E, 400 I use a day. Omega-3s, this is all those fish oils. Now, how much do you take? You wanna look at the EPA and DHA. EPA is good for systemic inflammation. DHA, the B side, is good for brain and eyes. So you, you wanna look at the EPA and you take your body weight plus zero and that's the minimal milligrams you need. Remember, because you're fighting inflammation, you're fighting stress. So if you're a 150 pound female, add a zero on to that. So that's the minimal you need per day is 100, I'm sorry, is, 1, 000, is 1,500 milligrams of omega-3 fish oils. Vitamin D3, can't stress it enough. Vitamin D3 is good for everything, good for inflammation, good for hormone balance, good for uh, calcium and uh, magnesium to be put in the bones. 10,000 I use a day. Now here's important. This is really good and important. I did a video on this too as well. DIM with calcium D glucurate, 100 milligrams. Now DIM, estrogen is processed through the liver. So if you have a boggy liver due to nutritional deficiencies, you're gonna become more estrogen dominant. So taking DIM helps that liver detox phase to help you, female, balance out the estrogens. A multi-mineral, not a multivitamin, a multi-mineral. The minerals are all those little things that keep the body going. And lastly, the key thing is for adrenal health is ashwagandha with black pepper. Now the dosage varies to you because what ashwagandha is made for is to stabilize the adrenals, give the adrenal some support. You can start off with 1,100 milligrams. If you're more stressed out, take more. If you take more, the side effect is you're just gonna be more calm. So this is where you know, the supplements are dose dependent. Now, you wanna take, with food, omegas, vitamin D3, because those are fat soluble vitamins. Okay, so you definitely wanna take that in the morning with food. All right, so thank you for the viewer to write, write in on this. PMS, PMDD, the treatment protocol is pretty much the same though, but P with PMDD, you are kind of like PMS on steroids. So it's gonna take time, but if you follow this protocol, this will help. All right, thanks for watching. Be good, leave a comment. I'll see you next time.